All right, so I got a question from a guy whose screen name is Ganea Paul Mars. He wants me to talk about my reps. Said he had a trainer for something like six months, didn't learn too much, but he was introduced to my reps and wants me to talk about it now, so I will. I'm not going to talk about the exact protocol, though. If you want the exact protocol, do a simple Google search. You should be able to find it, no problem. What I'm going to talk about is the how and the why. When you understand the principles that make something effective, you could take those principles and practically apply them however which way you want to to promote the response that you're actually looking for. Now, my reps rely on the rest-pause method to facilitate more of what they call effective reps to be performed. What's an effective rep? One in which maximum recruitment has been achieved. How do you achieve maximum recruitment? Number one, artificially through your intention, but not everybody has the capacity to do so, and it's very difficult to quantify. Or number two, authentically through the amount of weight that you're lifting. A weight that is or exceeds 80 to 85% of what you could lift for one in your current state will achieve maximum recruitment. So you got two ways you can go about doing this. You could pick a heavier weight to start with, but you might not be able to do too many reps. Or you could start with a lighter weight, do a bunch of reps, create some fatigue, and fatigue makes the weight feel heavier than it actually is. And this is how my reps work. My reps rely on fatigue to facilitate maximum recruitment to be achieved. The rest-pause method facilitates more effective volume to be performed, and the demand imposed on the muscles by training this way promotes growth via metabolic stress and mechanical tension. Metabolic stress because you have to do a lot of work to fatigue the muscle. Mechanical tension because the tension being placed on the muscle is higher because it's in a fatigued state. When you understand what makes my reps effective, you could take the principles that make it effective and practically apply it however way you want to. My reps just relies on the rest-pause method, which just so happens to be my favorite impose a demand method. All of those methods, however, I'll post in the description below because when you understand how and why something is the way it is, you could take the principles that make it that way and practically apply it however which way you want to to promote the response that you're actually looking for. So hopefully this helps with your understanding of the how and the why for why my reps are as effective as they are. If you like the information, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at. Subscribe to the channel. Support me. I'm going to keep on bringing it.